Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Aware Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding Premier League Table Part 2. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads We are given a table called Team Stats with six different columns team ID, team name, matches played, wins, draws, and losses. Team ID is the unique key for this table. This table contains team ID, name, matches played, wins, draws, and losses. We are asked to write a solution to calculate the points, position, and tier for each team in the league. Points are calculated as 3 points for a win, 1 for a draw, and 0 for a loss. Teams with same points must be assigned the same position. Then we also need tier ranking. Divide the league into 3 tiers based on points. Tier 1, top 33% of the teams. Tier 2, middle 33% of the teams and tier 3, bottom 34% of the teams. In case of ties at tier boundaries, place tied teams in the higher tier. Okay. Return the result table ordered by points in descending and then by team name in ascending order. Okay. Let's go through this example. So here we have 10 different teams and the number of matches played, wins, draws and losses. So firstly, what we need is for every team, what is the total points? So how we can get that is wins multiplied by 3 plus draws multiplied by 1 plus losses multiplied by 0. And you get all the total points for every team and then you rank them based on highest to lowest. So you get the team position and then based on that team position, you can create the tier as well. So this is what we get. So to solve this question, what we basically need to do is firstly, let's go ahead and calculate the points. So let us try to do this. So from this table called team stats, right? So from this table called team stats, let us keep the team name, right? Because in the output, what we need is team name points and then position is based on the points and tier is also based on the position. So essentially what we need is team name and then let us calculate the total points. Total points would be wins multiplied by three plus draws multiplied by 1 plus losses multiplied by 0 and let's alias this entire thing as points because that is what we need in our output right so as points and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if you look at this what we have is we have for every team the total number of points now we need the second column which is the position right so this this column this is what we need basically rank and then if there is a tie in the points it should be same rank but you then skip it skip one rank right so we know that this type of ranking can be done using the rank window function so let us store this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this common table expression let us keep both the columns that we created and then rank and then since this is a window function you need to write over and then order by points in decreasing manner and this should be aliased as position because that is what we need in our output let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it we have the team name as well as the position part okay now once we have this then we need the tier now you might be thinking based on the description or the way the question has been described the top 33 percent middle 33 percent so can't we do percentage rank here or can't we do n tiles here but i will show you the problem that we are going to face if we use percentage rank here and why we need to use position for this particular ex example or for this particular question even though the description is not very accurate in this okay so let me just go ahead and do a percentage rank here only and let's see what we do so percent rank right percent rank and since this is again a window function so over order by points in decreasing manner and let's alias this as pct rank let me go ahead and run this again and let's see what do we get in our output so now if i just go ahead and you know drag it to the left so here if you look at it right so this is the percentage rank and we can say that hey if your percentage rank is between 0 and 0 0.33 you are assigned tier 1 then 0.34 to 0.66 is tier 2 and the remaining are tier 3 
But if you compare this, right, if you compare this to the output, what they basically have is, so let me just drag it to the right. Okay. So here you have Sheffield United, Fulham, Newcastle United and Chelsea all are assigned tier one. However, if you look at Chelsea, right, and you apply the logic that if zero and between zero and 0.33, you are assigned tier one, then by that logic, this is going to be assigned tier two, right? Because this is more than 0.33, right? It's 0.3333, right? So that is why you cannot use the percentage rank or the end tile because if you do the end tile function, then also you are going to get a very similar number. So that is why what we need to do is we need to use position to create tiers, not the percentage rank. So when there are 10 teams, what we need is the first four ranks become tier one, then rank five, six and seven become rank two and the remaining become rank three. In terms of tiers, it is tier one, tier two and tier three. So what we can do is let me remove this percentage rank part from here and then let us save this entire thing in a common table expression, right? So CTE to as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then let us create another common table expression, right? So from this table called the initial table that we had is team stat. So team stat, let us, you know, return the count of team ID because we need the count of teams, right? Because here you have 10, right? But the position depends upon the total number of teams that we have. So let us return this as number of teams and this should be saved in a common table expression three. So let us save this in common table expression three as, and then what we are going to basically do is now, once we have the total teams as well, as well as the team name points and position, let us use this position and the count of the total teams to create tiers. So what we can do is from this common table expression two that we had basically the first three columns here, right? What we are doing is keep us all the columns because we need all those three columns and we need to create the fourth column called tier and then case when your position is less than then 0 0.33 multiplied by return me select star from CTE 3 plus 1 then you return tier 1. Let me just you know walk you through what this means basically is. So here if you look at this here you have you have total uh, what is the total number of teams 10 right so here you have 0.33 multiplied by 10 that is 3.3 plus 1 is 4.3 so whenever your position is less than 4.3 you are tier 1 right so 1 2 3 and 4 so until chelsea you are assigned tier 1 then what we need is if it is greater than this and less than 0.66 times this thing, then you are tier two, else you are tier three. Let me just quickly go ahead and write that as well. So what we are saying is when your position is greater than this thing and your position is less than 0.66 times of this, then you return tier two else you return tier three and since you started a case win statement you end as what is required in our output we need this as tier right so tier and then this entire thing should be ordered by points in descending order so order by points in descending order and in case of a tie by team name in ascending order okay let me go ahead and run this okay so if you look at this this is accepted our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is output so yes tricky question what we basically did was firstly we found out okay what is the total points for every team then we rank to get the position and then we get the total count of the teams because we saw that if we use percentage rank or end tiles we are not going to get the correct tiers so that is why we use the position and the number of total teams to basically get the tiers and tier one two and three 
and we ordered by points in decreasing and team name in ascending order. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better, more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.